Uh, last year we saw it without oh, it's, uh, Sandy, uh, Storm Sandy, which to me has changed my attitude toward many of the people I worked in Congress forever. Uh, I can honestly say I don't have that many friends in Congress, and uh, <laughs> but I, I tell you what I what I saw during Sandy really was uh, again I think an example how times have changed and uh, people's true colors come out. I uh, since I've been in Congress, there's been any number of times there have been disasters, there's been tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, forest fires, everything, and we always vote immediate aid. That to me is a legitimate purpose of the federal government to provide emergency aid in the time of natural disasters. I'll give you an example. With Katrina in 2005, within five days we voted $11 billion in emergency aid. In the next seven days we voted another $54 billion. That's $65 billion in 11 days. Sandy hit, I guess it was on October 29th. A bill was not signed into law until the end of January, giving us any of the, any of the relief we needed. And if we did not have, which you may have seen, sort of a revolt on the House floor on New Year's night, we, it would have been months and months before we got anything. Uh, we ended up getting from New York and New Jersey $61 billion as compared to the 65 for Katrina. But until then, the most we could have gotten was $27 billion. That was a take it leave it offer that we got. And uh, even though an agreement had been made to allow a vote to come up, if you may recall this, and I know in the world we live in today, seven months is ancient history, <coughs> but uh, New Year's night, Basically, as the Congress was ending, a bill was pulled from the floor, and there was not going to be a vote on any emergency aid, and that would have put this off into the spring. And every day that goes by just adds to the expense, just adds to the, uh, the cost and to the human suffering. So that's basically when I lost it on the House floor, and uh, I, uh, I made all sorts of brilliant cogent arguments, and they go right past people. That, that didn't have much of an impact. But the next morning when I said, I, anyone who... Uh, uh, anyone in New York who contributes to the Republican Party is out of their mind and should never do it. That got everybody's attention. Because all these guys who vote against AIDS in New York, who downgrade New York, who denigrate New York, they all come to New York City to raise their money. That's where they come. They come to New York City and the Hamptons. And uh, that's where the campaign funding comes from. And so that got their attention. Uh, and uh, so within 10 days, and we did get all the money out of the House. The Senate had a vote on it. It went to the President. But that's something that should have happened by mid-November. Instead, it was late January. So think of all of the uh, extra expense, all the added suffering that went on during that time. And it's really only now that the money is really starting to come in. And the reason for that is there's always startup time. You have to get approvals. You have to go. And all that I understand. But to add an extra three months on to that the way they did was just absolutely unconscionable. And uh, you know, these are the guys who slap you on the back. Hey, we're all great friends. And then you say, wait a minute, I got people in my uh, district, thousands of people out of their homes. People are suffering, uh, and they say, well, geez, we really can't vote for you, you know. It's not popular back at home to send money to New York. So anyway, if it's not popular to send money back to New York and stay out of New York and leave us alone. And uh, that's my attitude toward it, and that was a fight that I had. Uh, and uh, I have to say that uh, County Executive Mangano and County Executive Ballone did a phenomenal job. I was up close in the command center watching, especially Ed Mangano here in Nassau County, the job that he did, because Nassau had hit harder than Suffolk. Suffolk, uh, Lyndon Hurst got hit, and Copeg and Babylon, but uh, the uh, largest, I'd say by two or three times larger, uh, was the damage in Nassau County as opposed to Suffolk. And Ed Vigano did a great job. All the police, uh, fire districts, everything, uh, again, c came together. All that was missing was the support we should have gotten from the federal government, and now we're finally starting to get it. So anyway, that's, that's my world. Uh, some people like it, some don't. Uh, and uh, also, I... Uh, I was up in New Hampshire last weekend, and I want to promise you, if I do become president, I'll still come back here every year. So anyway, thank you all very much.